Welcome back to the sixth installment of Spirituality Through the Eyes of Salok Mahela Nova, where we look at the principles of spirituality, deep spirituality, true spirituality. Why do I add those words in front of spirituality? It's because spirituality is a term that has now come to mean so many things. Whereas in essence, what it really means is to get to the truth of what we are, is to get to the truth of the spirit itself. And it's not about this body. It's not about your life in the world. There may be effects of spirituality in your life in the world, but it's not about that. We look at spiritual principles using Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji's Salok Mahala Nova in which so many truths of life are shared so many ways of looking at the reality of what is perishable what is eternal where do we need to spend our time how do we make sure this life is fruitful for the purpose for which we are here which is to attain the divine to know God. This is the essence of spirituality and Guru Sahib guides us through these instructions. Each instruction is complete in itself. If one person, any person simply practices one of these saloks, just one, for a sustained period of time, it will change the entire outlook of that person's life because these are new like new softwares they're like new software to put into the computer the hardware of the mind is changed by the software of these instructions something along those lines that you put a new program inside and things start to change but it needs to be sustained because if we just listen to this one time or two times but the rest of the time and we are not listening to it we're listening to something else then what happens is that that becomes what we absorb you see we absorb what we expose ourselves to so this is also very important that that's why Guruji stressed the importance of Sangat Sangat is association what you associate with is what you will become because that's what you absorb the most now Sangat doesn't necessarily only mean company with people it also means what you watch it also means what you listen to it also means what you read it's everything that comes in through the senses that then gets absorbed and recorded and now it's in your mind now it's what you have that will start to play up inside you so it's not enough which is why the gurus and most of the teachers have a three-pronged approach to any kind of spiritual study first is to listen to it sravana or sunana then there's manana which is to go over it in your mind over and over again look at it from different sides try to really absorb it get it in and the Nididhyasana is contemplation on it to basically sit with it to basically let it have its place contemplation on it deep contemplation on it which is simply what we're trying to do with this series we're looking at each line and we are contemplating on it we're looking at the different aspects of it the different areas of it because the line by themselves are very short there are two two lines but what you can bring out of it the areas you can explore around it this is what we're looking into so in this episode we will begin with Salok number 27 where Guru Sahib says Jo Sukh ko chahe sada Saran Ram ki leh Kaho nanak sun re mana durlab manuk deh Guru Sahib has previously already spoken about how hard it is to attain the human body so Guru Sahib says, if you want eternal happiness, Jo Sukko Chahe Sada, 
शरण राम की ले There are two ways you can read this sentence. I guess there's maybe only one way, but you can see it in two different ways. Jo sukh ko chahe sada, which means if you want happiness always, sharan ram ki le. Or you can say jo sukh ko chahe sada sharan ram ki le, which is also means if you want happiness, if you want true happiness, always seek the refuge, always be in the refuge of the of God. So if you're always in God's refuge you'll always be happy no matter what's happening because you can feel God's presence you're always you know you're protected it's like a child with a parent you know you're protected the lord's there once you can feel the presence of God then you will always be happy does it mean things in your life will always be good not necessarily we've seen in the lives of saints that things are not always good but we have seen one thing they have always been connected to something higher to the divine and that gives them the strength to go through whatever it is that this body and this life has to go through so it's not about making things better but it's about realizing your connection with divinity realizing what you are that you're not the body realizing that the nature of the soul and the nature of god is one this is what there is to discover this is what there is to realize this is what this life is about guru sahib says listen o mind kahu nanak sun re mana durlab manuk de this human body is so precious this human life is so precious not in itself not for the joys you can get through the body but simply for the fact that in this human life once you've gotten the chance to hear what your life is about to attain the divine to be in the sadh sangat to chant the lord's name to be able to be with the devotees of god to become a devotee of god to serve god in others to serve god in god all of these opportunities that are there that become available to you in this human body this is what you have you see so take the sharan of god take the refuge of god take the shelter of god let god be your only support let god be your only hope and then you'll always be happy nothing else in this life is permanent so if you take the shelter of something impermanent when that thing goes which it inevitably will what happens where's the happiness if your happiness was tied to something perishable when it perishes so does the happiness when your happiness is tied to that which is imperishable the happiness will never go and guru sahib calls this anand because this sukh when it's tied to god becomes anand guru sahib then says in shlok number 28 माया कारण तावही मूरख लोग अजान कहो नानक बिन हर भजन बिरथा जन्म सिरान गुरु साहिब सेज माया कारण तावही सो दिस इज लिंक टू द प्रीवियस बिकॉज इट इज जो सुख को चाहे सदा इफ यू वॉन्ट हैप्पीनेस शरण राम की ले बिकॉज राम इज इम्पेरिशबल द लॉर्ड इज इम्पेरिशबल So if you take the sharan of that which is imperishable you'll always be happy. But Guru Sahib says what do the ignorant people do? What do we do? He says maya karan tavahi. Maya is that which seems like it's there but it's not there. Because something which is th- there is a wise saying I forgot which teaching it's from but it's from one of either uh it's from one of the scriptures. of one of the religions where he says something which is there which is not there in the beginning is there in the middle and is not there again in the end is not real you see because even when it's there it's really not there because it's just on its way to going out it's just on its way to perishing so something which is 
not there and then is there and then is not there again doesn't exist that's maya maya is illusion maya is something that seems like it's there but when you get closer and closer to it 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 doesn't give you what your mind says it will give you so what happens Guru, guruji calls those people murakh fools ajan ignorant Guru Sahib says, what do they do? Maya karan tavahi. Because Maya is something which is perishable. Even when you get it, it doesn't bring happiness. It brings worry. Because you know, now you have to keep it. Now you have to protect it. Now you have to make sure it doesn't go away. And eventually what happens? It does go away. You see? So Guru Sahib says, Maya karan tavahi murak log ajan. Kahu nanak bin har pajan. Birtha janam siran. Without serving God. Without meditating on God. Without connecting with God. Without making God a reality in your life. This life, the purpose of it has gone in vain. It has gone in vain. In things which are perishable. Chasing after them. And chasing after them doesn't bring you happiness either. It brings you stress. It doesn't bring you joy. You see? Guru Sahib then says in Salok number 29 Jo prani nis din paje roop ram tehjan Guru Sahib now gives a different picture of those who have made their lives fruitful. Those who make their life about attaining God. Those who make their life building a connection with God. Building a connection with that which is eternal building a connection with that which is the true nature of what they actually are by the guru's grace when they do this guru sahib now describes jo prani nis din paje nis din means night and day those who never forget god night and day who are serving god in everything night and day roop ram tehjan there can be two different explanations of this line because there are different subtleties it's just a point of view so jo prani nis din paje roop ram tehjan the one who serves god day and night the one who's connected to god day and night remembers god day and night they become the embodiment of god because they become dissolved, they have dissolved their their personality they have dissolved their separateness from god and you can see that only god is working through them so roop ram tehjan that's one another meaning is jo prani nis din paje roop ram tehjan those who remember god day and night they know the form of god they get to know the form of god because they are continually associating with god continually being with god they become the form of god as well and they also get to know the form of god now some people may say what do you mean form of god God has no form. I ask you, where do you say God has no form? Which Bani says God has no form? Because in the Bani you hear, Nirgun o Sargun bi ohi. Nirgun also, Sargun also. With qualities and without qualities. Form and formless. Can you limit God? If you say God is only formless, you are limiting God. I remember reading this line by Sri Paramahamsa, Sri Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. He was a great saint uh, of the Ramakrishna order, which is named after him. And uh, he said, Why are you limiting God? Who are you to limit God and say He is only formless and He cannot take form? He says, God is with form and formless and both. And neither. You can't limit him. You can't limit God. You see? So, what I notice in my own search in the earlier years as well is that we tend to read a lot about God. We tend to hear a lot about God. We tend to form a lot of opinions and ideas based on what we've read and heard about God. 
but we don't know God. And those who try to teach us a particular limited aspect of God and try to say that only this is God also don't know God. And when you read the teachings and you go deeper and you read the teachings of saints who know God and talk about how the limitlessness of God and God can be with form and without form and who are you to limit it, how are you to limit it, who are you to limit God's capabilities. How can you limit it being that we are assume that God has any limitations where God is only formless and not with form you see so this is something this is an off sh- off side that I went off on just now a tangent again but just wanted to make it clear that Roop Ram Tehjan God can be form and formless who are you to say otherwise unless you know him unless you know God you see so it's about knowing God then the arguments all cease you see when you don't know God and you only know about God and you only know a limited thing about God then limitations can fight with each other but the ones who know God they're all one together they don't fight with each other there's nothing to fight about there's nothing to fight about you can't fight about the limitless you can only fight about the limited and god is not limited guru sahib says jo prani nis din paje roop ram teh jaan har jan har antar nahi nanak sachi maan guru sahib now says very clearly so that makes the meaning of the above line even clearer where he says jo prani nis din paje the one who meditates on god day and night the one who's connected to god day and night the one who remembers god day and night the one who serves god day and night they are verily the form of god themselves and to make it even clearer guru sahib says har jan the one who serves god the devotee of god har jan har antar nahi har jan har antar nahi antar means difference there is no difference between the devotee of god and god why because the soul what we really are the the being the soul the life is not different from god but because of all of these other coverings that we have covered ourselves up with due to maya due to ignorance we don't know who we are you see but the ones who know who they are realize their that it's god that's running the whole show you see when they say har jan har antar nahi the only difference is the word jan you see har and har are the same har jan har antar nahi because the jan is gone they have realized that they don't exist separate from god they have realized it's only god who's living they have realized that only god runs everything and what i have taken myself to be that was an illusion the jan that i've taken myself to be when i become a har jan and i continue to remember har 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 god 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 the remembrance of the har removes the jan removes the 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 sense of being separate from god then har jan har antar nahi nanak sachi man understand this that the one who remembers god day and night attains god and there's no difference between them and god this is why the human body the human birth is praised so highly because in this human body you have the chance you have the opportunity and having heard these teachings the door is wide open pray for the grace pray for the grace to attain the divine 
The divine is not anywhere far away. God's not anywhere far away. He's nearer than near. Only we are keeping God away when we continually think of ourselves as a person, when we continually think of ourselves as limited, when we continually think of ourselves as something. Listen to these banis. Drown yourself in them until the har, until the jan, by loving God becomes a har jan, and by becoming a har jan, the jan disappears and only har is left. Next, in Salok number 30, Guru Sahib says, Man maya me phad raheyo, bisreyo gobind naam, kaho nanak bin har pajan jeevan kone kam. Guru Sahib continues to circle around this point over and over again. He is showing those who have achieved the purpose of life and those who don't. And how those who forget God and continue to get stuck and obsessed and tangled in maya, in illusion, See, Guru Sahib is not saying to forget this world. Guru Sahib is not saying to leave this world. Guru Sahib is saying a very simple thing. Remember God. Always. He didn't say run away. He said to remember God. When you remember God, the mind becomes clean. You don't need the body to run away then, you see. For some who need to do that, maybe they, they do that for a particular period of time. But... Honestly, by remembering God, all is done. But to constantly remember God, to constantly remember God until you realize there is only God, you see. Only God. But Guru Sahib now shows us, Man Maya me Padrahyo. When the mind is stuck in Maya, in that which doesn't really exist, and that which you continually chase after. Then what happens? Bisre or Gobind Naam. You will forget God's name because you'll be chasing after something else. You've forgotten God's name. Why forget God's name? Remember God's name. When you remember God's name, you remember God. When you remember God, you remember all. The one who created all. You don't run after the creation anymore. You run after God. You see? Why chase after the things that come and go when you can tie yourself to that which doesn't come and go and dissolve yourself in that you see Guru Nanak uh, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji says Kahu Nanak Bin Har Pajan Jeevan Kahu Neka says without the worship of God without remembering God without dedicating yourself to God this life is wasted. This life is of no use. Absolutely no use. Next, Guru Sahib says, Prani Ram na Chetai Mad Maya ke And Kaho Nanak Har Pajan Bin Part Tahe Jam Pand Guru Sahib says, Listen, there's still a chance. Don't be foolish. He says, the foolish ones, what happens is this, Prani Ramna Chete, the one who doesn't remember God, becomes drunk in Maya, becomes drunk in illusion, becomes drunk chasing after things from youth, from childhood to youth, from youth to adulthood, from adulthood to old age, and then what happens? You chase, you chase, you chase, you seem to get, but it goes away. Something or the other always goes away because that's the nature of the things in this world. Then what happens? He says, Mad Maya ke and Prani Ram na Chaiti, the one who doesn't remember God, becomes entangled in Maya, ma in, becomes drunk with Maya, becomes drunk in Maya from childhood to youth to adulthood to old age. And then what happens? Kahu Nanak Har Pajan Bin. And then without remembering God at all. They have wasted their life and this beautiful opportunity of the human birth has become wasted 
death's noose has come and it's time to go and this whole life has been wasted and it is a big waste because your opportunity in life is the greatest opportunity there is having heard this truth having come across the teachings of the masters and the gurus of any tradition having come across what the purpose of your life is everything is laid out for you now if you don't follow it that is just what people would say mare pag that is just either not enough merit or that is just unfortunate hearing this should make us really pray to the guru we should fall face down and just pray to the guru to let us not waste this opportunity because we don't know when death will come you see we don't know no one can say for certain i mean we hear this very often but has it really hit us from the way we live our lives is as though it hasn't hit us you know yeah we know there's death it'll come one day you know but imagine any memory of yourself having lost something okay something that made you feel very sad well death is like for someone who has not remembered god when death comes you take the saddest moment of whatever you lost and you multiply that by infinity because the opportunity of attaining god has just been missed for what something you could take with you for what it's so important to just sit and reflect and be urgent here man be urgent here you know have some sense of urgency here look at your age did death say we'll only take you when you're 80 plus did you get that certificate did you get that get out of death free card kind of thing do you have a card that says you know what go ahead and enjoy and uh, i'll give you a warning as to when you're going to go and then you can start all of this stuff no it's not like that you see it's sudden so this is not trying to make it negative this is not trying to make it scary this is trying to at least remind you of the importance remind you of the importance of your life I mean if you're listening to the talks on living bani and other things that you're searching that means you are searching. If you're searching and you're listening it's not just to accumulate knowledge. It's not just to listen by your ears. It's to do something about it. It's to really connect yourself to God if that's what your life is about, you see. Listening about God I'm telling you no matter how many people you listen to listen to this listen to that listen to that you'll get inspired you'll move all this. but until you take the first step until you do what the guru is saying chant the name of god every day don't forget god read something every day listen to something every day contemplate every day and then chant every moment that you're free remember god first thing you when you get up in the morning last thing before you go to sleep why wouldn't you do that if you know the opportunity of this lifetime why would you do anything else why would you forget god to do anything else do anything else no problem but don't forget god that's all guru sahib says remember god take that step don't let your life go to waste next guru sahib says sukh mein bahu sanghi pae dukh mein sang na koe kaho nanak har paj mana ant sahai hoe 
Guru Sahib is now talking about friends. He says, when things are going well with you, you'll have many people around you. But when things are going badly, those numbers reduce drastically. But Guru Sahib is even more stronger. He says, Dukh mein sang na koi. They may be around you, but they can't do anything for you. They can't do anything for you. Let's say at the moment of death, you're right there. You're in the hospital. There are people around you. Let's say even a thousand people around you. Let's say. Let's say the hospital room is big enough to accommodate a thousand people who love you. Okay? So a thousand people are around you. They can't do anything for you. You're still going to go. You'll be looking at them. And you'll leave. They cannot do anything for you. But for their happiness, they'll come to you. Sukhme bo sangi pai. For happiness, they come to you. But when you're upset, when you're helpless, when you can't do anything anymore, when you're of no use to any other person, then they don't come to you anymore. Guru Sahib is saying. Then he says, Ka, what to do then? Guru Sahib says, Ka ho nanak har pajmana ant sahai hoi. In that very last moment when you are going to leave, only God is your company. Because God's always been with you. Always. Never separate. The infinite one has never not, has never been missing. It's not that God somewhere far away. Where is infinite? You are in infinite. Where is infinite? Infinite contains you. Can God be out of it? God is infinite. You are in the infinite. Like the fish in the ocean. The fish has never been without the ocean. So God's always with you. Guru Sahib says to remember why. Because when you remember that God's always with you, there is a change. You start to connect with that which is always permanent. Your identity becomes less and less who you thought you were, who you've been trained to think you were. And you start to get in touch with that which you are, that which is permanent, that which is of God, not of this world. You see? That is your true companion at the end and has always been. So why are you busy trying to chase after the companions in this world and forgetting God? See, Guru Sahib, please pay attention to one thing. Guru Sahib is not saying leave this world, leave the companions, leave all of this stuff. He's not saying that. He is saying don't forget God to chase after these things. If you remember God, the priority is clear, then all of these things have their place. But they will never take the place of God. But when you've made the world bigger than God, you have trapped yourself in a delusion. As long as God is bigger than this world for you, you're in the right place. Mentally, spiritually, and even your daily life in the world is different. But when the world is bigger than God, then you have seen it, then everything is upside down and your perception is distorted and the only result of that will be misery. Not joy, not happiness. Guru Sahib then says, Janam Janam Paramat Pireo Miteo Na Jam Kotras Kaho Nanak Har Pajmana Nirpeh Pave Bas Guru Sahib continues to tell us Har Pajmana from the very beginning Har Pajmana Har Pajmana meditate on God serve God remember God be with God why? because he says Janama Janama Paramat Pireo you know this misery you're experiencing in this life Everyone has experienced some form of misery, no? The misery you're experiencing in this life, 
this is not the first time now i'm not speaking as someone who has experience of this i'm speaking simply based on what i'm reading so don't mistake uh what i'm saying as something that i know i am simply learning i am simply um trying my best which sometimes is not much to follow the teachings and to share the teachings that's all i'm doing i'm simply sharing the teachings i'm not telling you that i've attained anything i'm not telling you that i understand what janama janama means but on the authority of guru sahib cuz guru sahib says janama janama parmatvirio i can say based on his authority that we have not been here just once this is not our first lifetime this won't be our last lifetime you see so janam janam parmat firyo are you still afraid of death guess what so am i but why are we afraid of death guru sahib says janam 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 parmat firyo you have you have countlessly been wandering lifetime after lifetime mitteo na jam ko tras your fear of death still has not gone away despite being born and dying so many times you still don't know you know why because you continue to chase after the illusion so when you died you died in confusion you didn't die in clarity you didn't die connected to god you've missed the opportunity again and again and again so guru sahib says listen now that you still have the body now that you still have the breath kahu nanak har pajmana even now remember god even now start doing it because you're confused you're afraid of death right now despite having been born and died so many times we don't remember it you don't know it but let me tell you something guru sahib says rem even now remember god remember god why so that you can reach that point where you're not afraid of death anymore you become fearless because you realize the truth of what you are you realize the truth of what you are and then you become fearless you become fearless because you know that god is not separate from you you become fearless because you know god is with you always you become fearless because now you feel the presence of god you know he's your sahai you know he's your friend you know he's with you you feel the presence of god wherever you go this is a very high state and don't run after states don't try to chase after becoming that if god wants to give that he'll give that we do our part whatever we can through prayer through meditation not for ourselves but for god do this while we still have the chance guru sahib reminds us over and over again and he says what will happen if you keep on remembering god day and night in the previous previous shlokas ago guru sahib says roop ram teh jan they become the form of god and then har jan har antar nahi then the one who's the devotee of god becomes non different from god realizes god then guru sahib says here nirpa pave bas they become fearless because god's fearless and what you are is a drop of that god quality is exactly the same now to uncover that quality guru sahib says remember god remember god remember god so that's the message i will leave the contemplation here for now and get deep into this you know listen to this any of them 
read the Banis, contemplate on them, realize Guruji is telling you again and again and again, you have the opportunity, establish the connection with God. Don't waste your life. He is saying this over and over and over again. In all the sloks we read today, that's all he's been saying. In all the saloks we read previously, that's all he's been saying. From the very first salok until now, that's all Guru Sahib has been saying. May we take this opportunity. May we make use of this life and not let it go in vain. Gun Gobind Gayo Nahi Janamakarat Keen Kahunanak Har Pajmana Jehbid Jal Komin.